Hello, hashtag CVV Entertainment. Make sure you check out my website, CVVEntertainment.com. Welcome to part two of this video, life hack on how to maximize your freezer space and how to reduce meal preparation time. Make sure you check out video part one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up where we left off. So as you know, I'm going to maximize my freezer space. I have pork chops that I need to add to the freezer, but I don't have any space. So before I can do that, I'm going to have to get the things that are currently in my freezer and do some things to help maximize that. So to get us started, I've already uh, cut up some aluminum foil, aluminum foil, and I'm gonna use Ziploc bags. If you have a family, you're gonna wanna use the larger Ziploc bag. If you are single, and only uh, doing meal prep for yourself, you're going to use the smaller Ziploc bag. Okay, so anyways, let me remind you of what my freezer currently looks like. Okay, here's the moment of truth, you guys. Okay, so this is my freezer, and look at it. It is a hot mess. So, I've taken a few things out of the freezer, and let me go over what I have here. First thing you want to get rid of is anything that is in a box. Okay, because boxes take up a lot of space in your freezer. So I've already taken some things out of the box, for example, like this lean pocket, which came in a box, like the sausage biscuit for breakfast, which came in a box. I've taken these out of the box and placed them into the freezer. So I have more things that are in the box that's taken up room in my freezer. And most likely you have boxes in your freezer that is totally taking up room. So some things that you can leave in the bag are things like this, like shrimp. You don't need to take this out because it's already in a bag, yay! Same thing with chicken, things like that. These things are already in a bag, so you're good to go with that. Now, another thing that I've done, I am a popsicle hoarder. And when I say popsicle hoarder, I'm a popsicle hoarder. So if you have kids or maybe you like popsicle, you might have a lot, I don't know. But anyways, what I've done is, oh, and also I'm a go-gurt hoarder. I'm a go-gurt, go-gurt hoarder. <laughs> I've taken all of my go and popsicles and I've placed them in this insulated lunch bag that I now have in my freezer. So look at all of this, you guys. Look at all of this, you guys. Look, look at all the room I'm saving, you guys. Do you see, look at, look at this. I'm saving room by compacting everything into this lunch bag. Who knew? Who knew the lunch bag could be a lifesaver? Now I'm gonna show you what everything looks like after I have taken everything out the box. Okay, I have things organized, so let's see what I have. All right, so I took what was in this box, which was uh, breadsticks, and I placed it in this plastic bag here. And this is why I love using plastic bags. Look at it, look. You see the space I'm saving? And if you need, if you need to get a little air out of it, you can just simply kind of crack the bag a little bit. Make sure that you get the air out of the bag. Reseal it, and there you go. Now, this has become a total space saver. I've done the same thing with corn dogs. So simple, right? I gotten rid of the box. I placed it in a Ziploc bag and you know, I've done it like this. Now, it depends. If you have kids, you may want to put them in the smaller Ziploc bag. So that way you can say, hey, you want something to eat? Go in there and grab a Ziploc bag. But for me, it's just me and I'm, I'm not gonna eat these as much. So I placed them in one large Ziploc bag. Now here's the part that I absolutely love. I had some hamburgers, you guys. Can you see this? I want you to see this. So what I've done is, this was my hamburger box. I love life hacks. I had a hamburger box, and what I did is, I uh, took the hamburgers out of the box. Not only did I take the hamburgers out of the box, but I went ahead and seasoned my hamburgers, okay? They're seasoned already, and now I just wrap my aluminum foil just like this, okay? And guess what? When it's time to eat, you simply grab one of these out of the freezer, throw it in your oven, throw it in your Instant Pot, your pressure cooker, and you're done. It's already seasoned. I totally love this laugh. 
laugh hack? No, it's not a laugh hack. It's a life hack. So anyways, now let's take a look at my freezer after I put my condensed things in there. All right, let's take a look, you guys. How's the freezer looking so far? All right, so far so good. So here's my hamburgers that I have seasoned, my corn dogs. I got some things behind there that I have individually wrapped. No more of those bulky boxes. I'm loving it, you guys. I'm loving it. I'm so happy right now because now I feel very confident that I can place my pork chops in the freezer. So that's what's next. Make sure that you stay tuned for video part three of this life hack about how to maximize your freezer. Well, we've already done that. And now I'm going to show you how to significantly reduce meal prep time. And I've given you a sneak peek with the hamburgers. I'll see you at the next video.